Hi everyone, welcome back to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your 333 tarot reading. I'm gonna do these daily. Uh, so if you do enjoy them, let me know, like, comment, uh, you know, share uh, the video because um, I wanna keep doing these. I felt like it was a great reading yesterday and I got a lot of good feedback. So thank you, if I didn't say it already, thank you for all those beautiful comments that I received yesterday. So keep engaging, you know, tell me uh, what's going on and we'll keep these readings going. So with that, we're gonna see what your angels and spirit want you to know. It is a timeless reading. So if you resonate with the title, then it was meant to find you. We're gonna do uh, three decks, three different decks, three cards each, three, 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 right? And the name of my channel. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna take that because I did not tell Spirit yet what we're looking for. So thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Gosh, <laughs> the cards just be uh, keep flying out here. All right, well, we're gonna take that one. What messages do you have here? for the collective what do they need to know right now thank you spirit and angels what do they need to know right now and this is the goddess guidance uh deck let's get one more okay wow powerful energy i just have to show you i'm only taking these three cards but we do have true love on the bottom of the deck now your first card is a uh, sacred space and this card says create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine right so really this is taking time to yourself uh, i feel like there could be a situation in your life um, where you you're needing clarity okay maybe you're needing guidance i feel like spirit is telling you to really take some time to yourself uh, listen to the messages, right? It could be signs, synchronicities that you are gonna receive at this time. But I also feel like too, this is not just about love. I feel like this is also about your life in general. Some of you may be making some changes in your life um, because I also feel like too, you have um, the goddess of Rhiannon, which is the sorceress, and it says you are a magical person who can manifest clear intentions into reality. So I feel like spirit and your angels are telling you right now, you are in really good, great manifestation mode, okay? And that's why they're telling you take some time each day. And I, and I say this on my channel, I take time each day before my readings and I meditate. And the reason I do this is it helps me start my day I you know I talk about things uh, that I am grateful in prayer and I also think about the things that I want to manifest in my life so it's for me it's like I'm kind of clearing the energy and I'm starting fresh each day I'm clearing my mind and I'm getting to that quiet place where I can really think about what I want to manifest. So they're telling you right now is a time where you are in good manifestation mode. And it can also be a time where you are really intuitive. And some of you are maybe like growing spiritually, going through transformation at this time. Um, so definitely a time to connect is what I'm feeling there strongly. Now, you also have your past life. The situation involves your past life memories. Okay, so some of you, I feel like, you know, this could be an indication, and I'm just gonna say some of you in a past life may have been a sorceress. Um, some of you, I feel here too, there may be some things that are surfacing that are coming through from a past life. Some of you, it could be a past life love, as I am seeing here too. Like I said, true love is on the bottom of the deck. So some of you may be, you know, really thinking about a love situation. It can be just past love too. Some of you may be trying to gain some clarity about a situation, but very um 
very connected time for you, okay? Or you're being guided right now to really try to connect. So let's uh, pull your tarot cards. Let me get a few cards here and shuffle. Sorry, I got some sage going. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Spirit and angels for your guidance. What messages do you have here for the collective? Please share with the collective what they need to know. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, you do have the Ace of Swords. So, I feel like right now there could be a situation that you are struggling with, which it makes sense why Spirit is telling you to take some time to yourself to gain some clarity to uh, connect here because I feel like there's a situation that either you've been holding back from making a decision or you've been very indecisive about it. You do also have here the five of wands. So it's telling you either something is not working or this is your inner struggle. And I'm also feeling here too, like, you know, there could be some more information that you need, but I really feel like this is um, a situation that you've been struggling with to make some sort of decision. And some of you have been holding back from making this decision. And that's really why the guidance here I'm, I'm sensing here is about um, either about the past um, or I feel here, right, about you connecting and just really listening to your higher self about what to do in this situation. But I feel like there's something that's not working. And, you know, you have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is really about having realizations. But I also say here with the Ace of Swords is that it may be something in your life that you need to break free from, you need to detach from. I always say too, it's an energy of cutting those things out of your life that don't add value, okay? And then it brings you a new beginning. So there may be something in your life right now that you're struggling with or you feel is not working, but you've kind of held back from making a decision. And I feel like once you make that decision here with the Six of Swords, it's going to take you in a new direction. This is an energy of change. I also feel here too, this could be some, something that is resurfacing from your past life. Um, and there may be some sort of spiritual message associated with that. So I feel like Spirit's saying once you make that decision, it's kind of smooth sailing here with the Six of Swords. It's the path of least resistance. So there may be something that you are kind of resisting and it may be kind of holding you back a bit with the Six of Swords energy. This energy is also an energy of being able to move forward and take what you've learned. Like I said, I feel like there could be some sort of life lesson through this uh, decision. And I feel like, you know, this could be anything, right? Anything you're going through in your life, whether it's love, money, or career. So let's uh, pull three more cards. This is the angel tarot deck. Let's see what three messages Spirit and your angels want you to know. Hmm. Right on target there. Gosh, your cards are so on target here. You know, you see the purple energy and, um, you know, even with this card here, this is the crown chakra which again tells me here some of you right now you're getting you're getting downloads from uh spirit and your angels right now that's why they're telling you to connect okay bottom of this deck is the three of fire oh my gosh i love this energy for you it says abundance things look very good have patience at this time and make long term this is telling me that opportunities are coming towards you but 
I see here, you also have here, look, the eight of water. And it says here, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual, and emotional growth. Yes. Some of you are having a hard time making this decision because there's there's feelings or emotions involved. But it's also an energy of just not feeling satisfied with a situation that's not working. You know, that five of wands can be, like I said, the inner struggle, something not working. It could be drama. It could be people in your life that you need to move on from. People who are pulling you into their drama or they're not they're not working for you, they're working against you, that type of energy. So I, you know, these messages are so on point, which with what has come out, you also have here the moon, it says important psychic insights, events behind the scenes and relief fear, release fears that hold you back. See important psychic insights. This is the time that you're going to get those insights very, very strongly. Again, the crown chakra here and, um, you know, this eight of water, the blue energy here, I'm, picking up is uh, like your throat chakra. So some of you, it may even be something that you need to say to somebody, okay? But I feel like they're telling you to release the fear because I almost sense here with this two of swords, there's a fear about making a decision, okay? Some of you, it may be fear. Some of you, it may just be uncertainty or you're doubting yourself, okay? Now, you also have here the dreamer. And it says a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. And didn't I just say that? What's upcoming here is opportunity. And I talked about the smooth sailing. I feel like once you make that decision and you follow your dreams, that's when the opportunities are going to come up. This is the full card, taking that risk, taking that leap of faith to what you desire in your life and some of you i'm going to say here too i'm picking up with the dreamer which is the full card this is something you're feeling pulled okay there's something inside of you that you're you're feeling like i need to do this but there's something stopping you here and i feel like it's the internal struggle here so you're feeling already that you need to do this because you're in a place with this eight of water that I'm not feeling satisfied with a situation. And that's part of the spiritual growth. And I feel like this is probably a situation you dealt with in your past life. And now it's time for you to release it. And this is the life lesson for you that, you know, trusting, I feel here, your intuition and trusting how you're feeling about a situation. Because if you're struggling, and you know you're in this place of indecision you're not really at peace right you want to be in that place of peace and happiness and i feel like this is going to bring you those opportunities that you're looking for so i feel like wow they all these messages are connected i hope you enjoyed this reading um, i'm enjoying doing them for you so i hope all of you have a wonderful rest of day or evening and i'm sending you angel love